Oh yeah, what's up guys? This is Chris Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back in action today. I'm gonna to show you how to create a logo in Photopea. And not only that, I'm gonna show you how to show I'm gonna show you how to do it. <laughs> Come on, Curtis, use your words. How do you do it with a transparent background? How cool is that, right? Why are we doing that? Simple. First off, we get a lot of comments on our previous Photopea videos about how do I do this, but I wanna I don't wanna have the white color in the background, or I just want the, the logo with nothing else. I'm going to show you how to do it and secondly I'm going to show you how to do it using brushes as opposed to the pen tool which we did last time. So it's just a new technique, two new techniques actually to create a logo. Let's go. First step, left click on new project. Alright, cool. Let's just motor through this. I'm just going to leave it as new project. You're going to be seeing this social as your default. This is not the one you want. You want to go from social and you want to go to two inches. <laughs> and unfortunately I don't know what two inches looks like. Uh -huh. All right, I'm going to leave that joke alone. Okay, so we're going to the two inches, and then for this demonstration, we're doing a logo, and we're going to do a square logo. So let's go ahead and do 512 by 512. Now, before I hit create, what you need to do is you got to make sure that this background from white, left click on that little down triangle or chevron, and select transparent. This is very important, and it doesn't show up inside this little rectangle until you hit create. Now, when you do that, you're going to see here, presto, you've got this little white and grayish rectangles in the background. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, something like that. Okay, good enough. This means there's no background color. It is transparent. Or, in nerd speak, there's an alpha channel. Okay, good enough. Let's keep going. The next step is you want to basically take in your logo. So if, you, if, you're, if you've got a hand drawing, for example, where you drew it out, and now you want to make your digital version of it, let's go ahead and do that. So I've got a logo here. I've just got this weird looking smiley face and I'm going to drag and drop it right on top of it. And it's too small for this, so I'm just going to go ahead and select the corner bounding box, hold down the shift key, and just make it a little bigger. Something like that. Okay, we are on our way. I'm going to left click now on the move tool and that means it's been placed. Now, for this demonstration, I'm just going to move it so it's centered, and you know it's centered because it's got the red up, the vertical, and the horizontal lines going through it. So this is directly in the middle of this composition. Okay, guys, you're working with me. Let's keep on rolling. The next step is we want to go ahead and reduce the opacity of this image because we're basically tracing it. We're basically just coloring on top of it. I know it sounds silly, but... We're brushing on top of it. That's kind of what this is. You've done the hard work drawing the logo or getting the logo. Now we're just going to trace and make it pretty in digital format. So how do we do that? Go to your opacity and drop that down to about, yeah, let's go to about 30%, something like that. You want to be able to see it, but you don't want it to be too dark. The next step is you want to now go ahead and create a new layer. So this button right here is new layer. Click on that. And now we're going to be drawing or brushing or tracing over top of this. Now before I go do all that fancy stuff, there's a few things I need to show you. First off, on the left side in this version, we're looking, we're going to be working with the brush tool. So go ahead and select the brush tool. Beauty. Now it defaults to this 15 pixel brush. But when I hover over top of it, it looks like it's a little bit too big when you look at the size of the circle versus the size of the stroke. So not too much, but I'm gonna go ahead and reduce it down to about 12 pixels, because that looks to be about the right size. And it's usually better to be a little smaller than bigger. Um, <laughs> that's what she said. Uh, all right, cool, good enough. Okay, so we're dropping it down to 12 pixels, and for this one, we're gonna use the default brush, but I do wanna raise attention that there are other types of brushes. So if you wanted like a soft brush, or a soft round brush, or an oil pastel brush, you can just hover over top of them and it will tell you the name of it and it gives you a different uh, look. So we're going to go with a hard round brush, 12 pixels, and we're going to go with black. So you'll know it's black because down here at the bottom, you'll see here that on the top, it's got this little square and it's got black selected. When I left click on it, I also can see that it has selected black. So we are on our way. Now, before I start drawing, and because I'm not going to use my tablet on this, I'm just going to use my mouse, my little wheel, my little wheel clicky mouse thingy dingy. Uh, what you want to do for most of you that aren't like got great drawing skills or great hand drawing skills, I suppose, 
you want to increase the smoothness of your brush. So what you want it basically what's happening is so instead of it just being like jaggedy and free drawn, I'm going to go ahead and increase the smoothness to 70%. So it's basically just going to sort of correct for my horrible drawing skills. So I've just increased the smoothness to 70%, flow and opacity at 100% is fine. Now let's just go ahead and draw something like, whoa, that's pretty bad, right? I told you guys how bad it was, but of course you didn't believe me. No, I'm sure you did. But anyways, the point is that this doesn't have to be perfect. This is just a quick, oh, that's too far out. We're just doing a very quick look at what this would look like. You, of course, would want to do a much better job than I'm doing here. But again, whatever. I'm just going ahead and making, oh, I really missed that X, right? Didn't I, huh? And maybe something like that. Let's go ahead and draw this little X in. And I'm going to draw that one in. And can I add some stuff? Ah. All right, kind of ugly, but whatever, guys. doesn't matter. The point is I'm just teaching you the technique, and you guys can do a much better job using a tablet or just taking some time to draw it. But, yeah, this is horrible, but that's not the point. We've got our smoothing in here. Okay, let's close that up, and oh, that's just not going to work. There we go. Come on, Curtis. There we go. Draw that in, and there's your tongue and whatever something goofy like that okay really ugly looking but that's not the point the point is I just need to show you how this works so we've drawn something over top of it now what you want to do is you want to turn the bottom la the middle layer off here which is the layer that we traced over and boom you've got this ugly looking dude staring at you right how bad is that right compared to the drawing yeah I know pretty rough but again you guys would want to do this much much more carefully and probably with a tablet or with a lot more care to detail, I'm just sort of laying over here, but that's how you do it. That's how you get a transparent background in this one. I would turn this off. I would then go ahead, if I wanna download this, what you wanna do is you wanna go over here back to your move tool, and then all you gotta do is click on this little download button on PNG or SVG, which is Scalable Vector Graphic, but PNG is just fine. Left click on that, it downloads it. Oh, could not open because it's empty because I had the wrong layer selected. Sorry about that, guys. Make sure you're selected on the layer that's lit. Left click, download PNG, layer 1, dash 2, whatever, has been downloaded, and that's your logo. That's all you need to do, except you have to be a much better uh, drawer and painter than I am. Guys, thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Be back soon.